Hey, how are you doing? In the last tutorial, we implemented a basic drone show using only one drone using Mavis DK and Peaks for offboard control. In this very short video, I'm gonna preview you a multiple drone show and we're gonna expand the last tutorial to get a sense of how would it be if we add more than one drone and try to synchronize the drone show together. This is not gonna be the real case and how we're gonna implement it in real world. It's just gonna be a preview. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and see how would it look like. Here we are in our peaceful software development environment. We have five drones already ready to fly in Gazebo Simulator. Let's see a preview of the trajectory using the CSV Creator Python file that we have in the last tutorial. We can see a heart shaped trajectory with different flight mode phases that it's gonna command the drone to fly in offboard mode. Let's go ahead and open the offboard multiple fun CSV and enjoy the view of each drone taking off with one second delay from the last one and keeping the half of meter, 0.5 meter altitude deviation from each other, 0.5 meter altitude offset, as you can see here, it's obvious. And then they are gonna execute the trajectory here, each one one second after the other one. You can see the flight modes here on the terminal. Mode 70 is the maneuvering. As you can see, the drone one, two, three, four, five now started the trajectory and now following the heart shaped trajectory. I'm gonna fast forward the video here a little and let's enjoy the view. You can go ahead and switch the view between each drone and see the trajectory that each drone is taking. By looking at the terminal window here, you can see that the drone one just finished the trajectory and other drones have finished the trajectory in one second delay. And now everyone are coming back to their launch position and auto land on the position that they took off initially. Just want to pinpoint again, this is not gonna be the method we're gonna implement in the real world it's just kind of just for simulation and demonstration they all are uh, being simulated on one pc right now and each one of them is a different software in the loop environment for px4 let's see how you can run this preview for yourself if you haven't watched the last video about the offboard control of the basic drone show using single drone go ahead and watch that to get the fundamental concepts of the offboard control and drone show in this Version 0.2, I'm using a custom Mavis DK Python build and custom Mavis DK server. I have created a branch to fit forward the acceleration in addition to the position and acceleration. By the time we're talking right now, it's May 2023. Mavis DK officially doesn't support set, uh, fitting forward the acceleration, so I built it myself. Eventually, in the near future, this will be a part of official Mavis DK server. I have opened a pull request and it will be merged in the near future. You can wait until then, or you can go ahead and use the Mavis DK binary server that I have put it here in the binary section, and go ahead and build the Mavis DK Python for yourself. I'm gonna put the link to the pull request section if you are uh, interested and know how to do that. If not, just wait a few, maybe days or weeks until this be become part of the Mavis DK official. If you clone the GitHub repository and download the Mavis DK server binary, put it on the home directory of the GitHub repository and then you're good to go. The same structure in the last video tutorial, go ahead and open the CSV creator.py and change the shape name by the shape that you like. For example, let's type a spiral square and we can go ahead and change the parameter for the trajectory based on the documentation here. We can build it and the CSV file and the preview of the trajectory will be shown on the screen for you. This is a preview of the square shape that is going to be flown by the drone. Next step is the offward multiple from CSV. But before running this offward control, we're gonna, we need to run our simula simulator environment in Gazebo. You should have uh, clone the piece for autopilot and then navigate to this shell file which is tools simulation gazebo classic 
that's SITL underscore multiple underscore run dot SH and add the additional parameter with dash N5 for having five drones in Gazebo Simulator. This is a pre made uh, shell file already available in PX4 uh, repository. So if you have followed my tutorial about downloading and setting up your software environment, environment tutorial in WSL2, you are already good to go and have this already on your screen. Then go ahead and open the offboard multiple from CSV. This file automatically connects on the gRPC port of 540 to 550 and the UDP port of 14540 for each UDP port of each drone. It's gonna take care of the connection order. It's gonna open a different connection with each instance and then control the drones. Let's uh, change the altitude the steps, uh, altitude offset to one meter and you can change the time offset here. And from now on, you just can enjoy the view and see each drone taking off with one meter offset and one second of delay. Let's go ahead and open the QGRAM control as well. And now we can see the drones taking off, doing the trajectory and the flight logs and flight mode changes will be shown on the screen here. Okay, that's it. As I told you, it's just a preview of how it's gonna be look like. I just wanted you to have an initial look at it. I'm gonna continue the pull request and merge it with the Mavis TK official. And after that, I'm gonna create a better tutorial and describe you step by step how you can implement it yourself. Up until then, if you are very interested, you can go ahead and use the Mavis TK Proto Fork version that I'm gonna put the link in the description. Then you need to build the Mavis TK Python by yourself and use the Mavis TK binary, the custom build of the Mavis TK server. But maybe by the time you're watching this video tutorial, you already have access to the function that I've used. I am using the set position, velocity, acceleration, and ED for setting the upward controls. If you don't want to do that, you can still go ahead and use the old version, which is set position, velocity, and ED. And disregard the acceleration fit forward. The acceleration fit forward is not essential at, at least in the simulator environment but in real world if you want your drones to track the trajectory precisely and make sure they are not deviating from the tracks especially if you have a tight turns and sudden change of trajectory you need to fit forward the acceleration as well i hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial let me know in the comment section if you have any ideas to continue i'm gonna continue this github repository and we'll put uh, improve this github uh, documentation for you so you can build it easily for yourself let me know if you have any comment section make sure you subscribe and like this to not miss the next episode of this drone show tutorials until then have a nice day and enjoy the drone show